Hello everyone and welcome. Hello everyone. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make um, formers that extend back like on that um, CRJ CJR um, 900 that Troy McMillan did. So I'm going to show you how to do that and how to make uh, formers inside the plane um, like he did. I'm doing this because some people have asked me to do that. They're having some trouble with it. So I decided to go ahead and uh, make a video on it. So let's get started. But first of all, what I'm going to do is just um, split this body right here. So I'll come up here to split body. Ah, scratch that. First, I'm going to do an offset plane. Sorry. Construction, offset plane. And the plane that I'm going to use to offset is this one here. And move this back here. All right, there's fine. And click OK. Turn my construction planes on. And then I'm going to do one more construction plane. Offset. I'm going to offset um, this plane here. And just move this about right there. And OK. Now I'm going to split the body. This is the body to split. Select my splitting tool, which is this, and click OK. And I'm going to now split this body right here. This is my splitting tool. And click OK. Now I just want this piece right here. So um, what I'm going to do here is turn this off here and turn this off. So this is what we have. Now what I'm going to do is create a sketch on this plane here. And I'm going to um, use an offset. That's right here. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, first I'm going to um, have to project it. So go ahead and cancel the offset. Hit the letter P. And project this line here. And click OK. Now I can do the offset. And one millimeter popped up. One millimeter is fine. And click OK. Now what I'm going to do is extrude. So um, hit the letter E for extrude. and But turn the sketches back on so you can see. And this is what I want to extrude. And I want to set this to join. So now, look at this from the side. And I'm going to extrude it. Um, uh, let's go with 5 millimeters. Well, actually, 10. Just keep it at 10. It's fine. You join and hit OK. Now. As you can see, now we have this, which is nice. That gives us that um, the ring so the other body will slide right onto that. Now, to give this support and strength, what you want to do now 
is put a ring around here. So you'll do another offset. So um, um, turn my construction plane back on the last one. Now what I want to do here is draw on this plane right here. Um, when you hit the um, create um, sketch, the plane, when I drew this ring, it automatically put a plane in here for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that plane there. Now what I want to do here is do an offset here and I'm going to go with 10 millimeters and click OK. Now hit the letter E for extrude and I want to extrude this. And this, I want it to go in two millimeters. So it should be a probably a negative, but let's make sure. Yes, it's negative, but we need negative two. Okay. And set this to join. And click OK. And that's how you do that portion. Make that green inside of there. Let me cut these construction planes off. Okay. And cut the sketches off. Okay. Here's what we have. It's just that simple how to do that. So the other body will slide right over this. And this ring is here for strength. Now, next, what I'm going to show you how to do is put the um, um, little stringers in here to give this um, this body uh, more strength also. So let's get started with that. Okay, here we go. We have this here. So first thing I'm going to do is draw a plane, another offset plane. So I'll come up here to construction, offset plane, and the plane that I want to offset is this one. And I'm going to move it up. Right there is fine. And click OK. I'll turn my um, construction planes on. OK. Now... What I want to do next is create a sketch on this plane. And now I'm just going to um, use a line command L and draw a line here. Here, here, all right, now we have that. Now what I'm going to do is extrude this. So hit the letter E, and this is what I want to extrude. And I'm just gonna move it up one millimeter. and set this as a new body for now and click OK. Now we have this here inside and outside. And now what we want to do is split body. So we'll come over here and modify split body. This is the body we want to split. 
and select displaying tool, which is this. And click OK. Now what we have here, this body here, I need to cut these constructions also. All right, now we have this as two bodies and turn this outside off. And with here, what you can do is just click remove it and remove this. Again, when you hit that remove, it removes it from the, um, the tree over here, but it keeps it down here in the timeline in case you need to go back and restore it or put it back in there. Now, we have that on the inside. Now, if you notice, there's a small little piece here still sticking out. And so what we um, do for that, again, is um, split body. This is the body to split. This is the split tool and click OK. Now this little piece right here, turn that off. And uh, what we can do here also is just go ahead and remove that also. Now this is what we have. And it's just that simple. Now, um, I'm going to move um, this over here also. So what you want to do here is come up to mirror. And um, it's a body. And the object that we want to mirror is this. And the mirror plane that we want to use is... Turn this around. The plane is this plane here. And click OK. Now we have those two pieces in there. And there they are. And you just do that to create more of uh, more of these inside of here. And then what you do um, to get these all lined up on another um, piece over here, you just extend these all the way through, which is no problem either. But that's how you do that on the inside like that. So now you should be able to model this like this in the back and be able to put these little um, strengthening, I don't know what you, excuse me, I don't know what you call them, formers or, um, excuse me, not formers, but stringers or something, but um, um, that's how you do that. And what you can do also is go ahead and join these. Um, so this is all one piece also. And um, to do that, just come up to here and, and click um, Combine. And then um, use, um, select what you want to combine in the, um, the target bodies. And then make sure you have this set to join. And um, keep tools. And go ahead and click OK. Anyway, that's it for this episode, but um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the um, comments, and I, I do answer them, and um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and if you like this video, hit that like button as well, and um, anyway, we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.